At 12 noon, I got a message for you. I came on early. <laughs> and the reason I came on early, because I'm going to be coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I want you to know that. What an incredible time. I want you to focus on your life right now. Focus on this, this next place where you are going. I want you to clear your head. One of the things I'm doing this weekend, I'm unplugging for, from everything. Why? Sometimes you just need to unplug and listen to yourself. Because I realized I was just giving my power away to other people's problems. And today I'm going to talk to you about, you got to find a way. And, and I start evaluating and looking and getting silent while everybody's watching the presidential debate last night. I was debating with myself. Am I making the right choices in my life? Am I doing the things I need to be doing at this point in my life? Am I on course to finishing strong? Am I doing what I need to do to build a legacy for my children and my children's children? Am I integrating the time with my family and this, this expanded vision that I have of myself and the things that I feel that I can do. I, I was doing some evaluation. I know the, the, the debate was very important to a lot of folks. I've already voted for who I'm going to vote for, and hopefully you have voted. But I was taking time for me. And you know what I realized? I started looking at it, and I've been giving my power away. I got in the habit of doing that. And I decided to take my power back in different areas of my life. Remember when Paul said, the things I should do, I don't do. And the things I shouldn't do, I do. I, I sat and think and meditate and marinate myself in words of wisdom. And there are some things that I know I should do, like keeping a social distance from the refrigerator. <laughs> to the refrigerator in the middle of the night and I can hear Taro said, did I just hear the refrigerator open, Mr. Brown? Tyrone, you're supposed to be asleep. For those of you that don't know Tyrone, Tyrone is a squirrel. And we're bilingual. He understands me and I understand him. I'm just just looking. I'm not doing anything serious. I might just drink a part of a smoothie that I fixed and had some leftover. I'm not eating anything. Okay. That looks like a fat boy move to me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Come on, man. Anyhow. I started thinking. I've got in the habit of giving my power away to a lot of things. And when you give your power away to a lot of things, and power shows up in terms of energy, when you when you find yourself giving energy to other people's problems. 
And then when you need some, and you're going to need some, you feel so exhausted, you don't have anything for yourself. I want you to like this page and share it. Like it and share it, because this is a download. And so I quote Ayanna Von Son a lot. She said, give to yourself until your cup runneth over. And then give to others from the overflow. Give to yourself until your cup runneth over and then give to others from your overflow. I want to talk to you about it. I want you to think about your goals and dreams and think about where, where your life might be. You might be for, facing foreclosure or, or eviction or lost your job or just in, indecisive about what life has done to you and what direction you want to take your life in or the relationships that are just toxic. I was talking to a friend the other day and she hadn't been long with this guy that she'd been with and they got married and I'm sure she saw some signs that this is not a good thing and they had a dispute. And one of the things I said, don't marry somebody, anybody, until you've had an ugly argument so you can find out who they really are because anybody can be a pretender. And he showed himself. As Bob Baba said, he showed his behind. <laughs> And fortunately, uh, he wanted to get violent. And thank God, she's the kind of woman that said, hey, you ain't got to do this a second time. <laughs> First time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, my Angelo said, if it walk like a duck, look like a duck, and quack like a duck, it's a duck. <laughs> You know what? It's not going to work. Mm. You got to go, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. I, I just lost it. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand. This is not going to work. You got to go. There's things that that we give a power to that can weaken us. If you have a goal, a dream, something you're working on, your business, your, your professional life, and stuff is going on in your, your personal life, it can be very distracting. People who have drama going on in their personal life, people who sit up and look at television and waiting for someone to snore, waiting for them to start snoring before they can go and He's in bed. <laughs> you, you know too much about that. <laughs> I want you to like this page and share it, okay? I want you to share. We'll keep it real as, as the millennials say. I'm, I'm just, I'm keeping it real. Can you feel it, brother? Up in here, up in here. There was a news conference. My mother, she was interviewed when I had... Uh, my talk show years ago, and a reporter asked her, uh, this is Mamie Brown, how, how did you know you could raise seven children by yourself? You never had any children. And she said, I, I just believed that the Lord would make a way somehow. I want to share with you today what I learned from my mother. I learned a lot of things from her. One of the things I learned from her, most of all, that's important in this thing called life, because in this thing called life, you're either in a problem or you just left one or you're headed toward one. <laughs> Have you noticed? <laughs> yes. And sometimes, you know, I was looking... I got up and I said, I'm just looking toward the end of the debate. I just saw a little tad bit of it, and I found it so exhausting. There's so much going on now. 
it's just tiring. You just, you just want it to be over. And at the same time, we have to learn how we deal with it. I want you to think about your goals, about your dreams. I want you to hold a, a vision of the next greatest version of yourself. I, I want you to start seeing if, you, if you've suffered a major setback. I want you to get excited. And I'm asking something that it's going to take some effort on your part. I want you to feel, feel there's something about feeling. I want you to feel the victory before it occurs. Why? Everything happens twice, first in the mind and in the without. I want you to feel and see in your mind's eye. Go to your imagination. The imagination is the preview of what's to come. Walt Disney. Go to your mind and feel relief. I got through that. I got through that. Thank you, Lord. I got through that. Claim it. See it. And then start working on it.